G'day. How you going? This is Michael from O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead. Well, what are we doing today? My king pigeons, or rattled wings. Not to be confused with the seagull ones, or the bat ones, but this is the pigeon ones. And they're all got a name, they're all... Uh, it depends which country you look at, it's been funny. Uh, people have been saying, yeah, well, we call seagulls that. I said, yeah, well, I can see the point. But, uh, Bats and rats and uh, pigeons, oh, they're all full of ice. Anyway, what we're doing? Uh, swinging round, swinging round, swinging round. All right, I moved the cage out. Got to clean a bit of it on the ground there where the manure is. But I'm going to tin the side there about two metres down. And on the other side, about two metres down. And I'm going to tin the whole roof of both cages. Um, that way the quail have a bit more of a bit a little bit more drier area and the pigeons definitely pigeons do not like uh, living in um, uh, open air they were you know those fine little nooks and crannies somewhere to get away from the um, uh, the, the bad weather well that's what we got to do for them so no further ado we'll start getting into this oh by the way just so you can see something there's my little pigeons there um so let's get on with it okay i had this lying around i don't dumpster dive but i trash pick <laughs> side of the road there was those sheets i showed you a second ago there were about five of those but i paid uh I don't know, 13 pieces, I got them for about 100 bucks because I needed them, I wasn't prepared to wait to find them for free. So, I'll use those instead. Same principle applies. These ones are a bit shorter. I knew that. See? That'll work out good. I've got to lift it up a fraction, a little bit. I like to lift it up a little bit. I don't have to, I suppose. Yeah. But I'd rather have it off the ground a little bit. I'll just put this rock under it. Yeah, that's sweet. I'm going to show you something. Remember, I put this box around this cage and there's a little fig tree branch, a little fig, all down to nothing. A lot of grass growing up around it, and crap. 
But there it is there, coming back. Amazing what a few no gates will do. <laughs> Okay, you're seeing where the light is. I'm in the peacock cage. Peacock's been put out. I'm converting this into the pigeon because it's got smaller wire. And there's more likely the rats to try to, and mice try to get into the pigeon cages because of all the pigeon poop and feed. They're wasteful. Uh, I uh, had I had pigeons when I was 12. Been a long time ago, but I knew that much. There were always mice and shit running around the bottom. So I tried to make it as... Uh, well, I suppose rat proof or mice proof as possible. The, the cage is not mice proof so much as rat resistant because <laughs> they can still dig into the ground and I haven't gone to that trouble. I see a hole, I, I uh, block it up.
what I've got to do now, put plywood on top here, then I'll put some dividers in and a roof on the top. Um, because they're such big, the king pigeons are so big, I'm giving them big uh, areas because they, they pair up, they have a, have a set of eggs. When the eggs hatch and grow up, as they're growing up, they have another set. So there's constantly a, a young bird at foot and an egg. houses and for whatever reason so when they're finished with them they give it to me. 